Hi viewers, as promised, I am sharing the video of the first introduction class of the particular subject of cyber security. My name is Surya Kumaru. I have MTech qualification in embedded systems. I have a life membership in IST and member of IEEE. So, with this quick introduction, let us jump into the topic so this is my channel name h a n u without any space immediately seven so you can simply subscribe with this url youtube.com slash anusev okay so now let us start the presentation let me open the folder of cyber security and this is yesterday's class right so today is 21 uh, i mean today is 22 yesterday is 21st august 2024 so i presented i have created this ppt yesterday only and i want to present it it is it is a directly a uh, ppt presentation slideshow so it will automatically open and then we have to continue from this slide Okay, so what is cyber security? And this course is introduced by uh, Mr. Surya Hanmanlu, that is my and me only. As I, I said, as I told just now, that my qualification is MTech in Embedded Systems. I have a life membership in IST, and then I have a member of IEEE. Okay, and my qualification is MTech, BTech, and MTech. BTech in ECE and mtech in embedded systems okay now moving ahead this is the agenda of our presentation first we'll start with an introduction of uh, self and then we will start syllabus overview then we will discuss about credits and marks and next we will uh, go with the unit wise topics so the next slide is also agenda only here it is clear somewhat when compared to the previous screen that's why i went to the next slide so first we'll start with introduction then syllabus overview then credits and marks and then we will start about the first unit introduction to cyber security and then cyber crime and cyber loss and then social media overview and security Fourth unit is e-commerce and digital platforms. Fifth unit is digital devices, security tools and technologies for cyber security. Then some some reference textbooks he has suggested. I mean, the Telangana University has suggested for us. So we will even see the rough. Now coming to the first introduction. As I said that I have. My name is Surya Hanumanlu. I am having 14 years of teaching experience. I worked only in two engineering colleges as of now. First one is DVR set in Kandi. Presently, uh, IAT Hyderabad is also available at that place. Then I have 11 years of experience in Hitam College, Hyderabad Institute of Technology and Management. Uh, so totally together 14 years is teaching experience live classes and two years of online tuitions I have, I, have, I have conducted online and offline tuitions that is around two years so totally 16 years of experience established my own company after giving resignation in my previous college Hitam. so I started my own company Anu 7 dot Academy uh, sorry Anu 7 Academy in academic year 2022-23. Actually, I started it in the December 7th of 2021, but the registration happened in 22 January. So that is the introduction to myself. And coming to my educational background, I have qualified in SSC, passed out in 99 from SVSH High School in both and intermediate public education that is ipe in 2001 
फास्ट रॉड बैच इज टू थाउजेंड वन हाई पी स्टैंड फॉर इंटरमीडिएट पब्लिक एग्जामिनेशन दट ऑल्सो आई कॉम्पिटेड फ्रॉम एस पी एस जूनियर कॉलेज बोध बी टेक आई डी डिट इन ई सी इन टू थाउजेंड फाइव आई मीन फास्ट डॉट इन टू थाउजेंड फाइव फ्रॉम एस आर एडी कॉलेज विच इज लोकेटेड इन अंकापुर विलेज देन आई वेंट टू हैदराबाद एंड देर आई डिड माई एम टेक इन एम बेडेड सिस्टम इन ए रेप्यूटेड इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज कॉलेज कॉल बी एन आर वी जी आई टी विच इज वेल एस्टाब्लिश्ड ऑल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर आर अवेलेबल देर सो आई लर्न मेनी थिंग्स फ्रॉम दैट कॉलेज टूडे आई एम इन दिस टीचिंग पोजिशन इट्स बिकॉज ऑफ ओनली दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉलेज बी एन आर वी जी आई टी वी एन आर वी जी आई टी स्टैंड फॉर वल्लोरपल्ली नागेश्वर राव विज्ञान ज्योति इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो आई डिड माई एम टेक इन एमबेड सिस्टम एंड पास आउट बैच इन टू थाउजेंड टेन नो कमिंग टू द यूनिट वन दिस इज हाइपर लिंक्स आर अवेलेबल फॉर एवरी वेर एवर अंडरलाइन इज देर इन द स्लाइड दट हाइपर लिंक सो इफ इफ यू क्लिक ऑन दिस इट विल इट विल रिडायरेक्ट अस टू दैट पर्टिकुलर साइड वेर यूनिट वन सिलेबस इज देर ओके सो लेट मी यूज द मोस्ट इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस राइटिंग टैप so this is the first introduction in this we are going to learn learn about what is what is the definition of cyber cyberspace and then the next topic is overview of computers and web technologies and next we will start with architecture of cyberspace and next communication and web technology then next we will start with internet World Wide Web, that is www. Advent of Internet, and then Internet Infrastructure for Data Transfer, then Governance, Internet Society, Regulations of Cyberspace, and Concepts of Cyber Security, Issues and Challenges, Issues and Challenges of Cyber Security. So you can click here to go back to the previous slide. So I will again use mouse pointer. so we will come back with same slide so again if you want to go to the syllabus of second unit you can click here so here in the second unit it is cyber crime and cyber laws so there we are going to learn about what are the classifications of cyber crimes right so how many uh, common cyber crimes are there what is uh, cyber crime targeting i mean how cyber criminals are targeting computers and mobiles and what is cyber uh, crime against uh, not only competition uh, women but they are also uh, doing cyber crime against women and children and then financial frauds are happening these days we have seen so many financial frauds are happening through online and then social engineering attacks this is also happening then they will introduce malware and ransomware attacks into our mobiles we don't know if we click any other suspicious link it will automatically introduce malware and ransomware attacks so be careful while installing apps in your mobile thoroughly check the reviews of the app and how uh, how many users give the reviews for that app then only you have to install if you if you have a trusted uh, company if it is a if it is from a trusted company like google play will will provide almost safe apps only but unfortunately there are some because of some external unavoid unavoidable circumstances there may be some of the apps which 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 includes ads also through that ads also we may get ransomware attacks or malware attacks and zero day and zero click attacks this is another uh, topic which is there in this unit zero day and zero click attacks then cyber criminals modulus operandi reporting of cyber crimes remedial and mitigation issues remedial and mitigation measures legal perspective of cyber crime it act 2001 i mean it act 2000 and then its amendments cyber crime offenses then organizations dealing with cyber crime and cyber crime security in india 
because we are indians so we have we have to uh, uh, take care of our indians first cyber crimes cyber security in india and some case studies we are going to learn in this particular chapter now coming to the unit number 3 it is so social social media overview and security in this we are going to learn about introduction to social networks types of social media and social media platforms social media monitoring hashtag viral content social media marketing and then social media let me use it as a pointer here social media privacy challenges opportunities and pitfalls in online social networks social security issues related to social media flagging and reporting of inappropriate content okay laws regarding posting of inappropriate content best practices for the use of social media in case of uh, uh, i mean uh, we are going to learn some of the case studies here also actually there should be comma here best practices for the use of social media comma case studies okay so again we will go back to the fourth unit so click on this link which is available here which can redirect us to the previous slide i think i have to remove the laser pointer now right so we will uh, again just click on this hyperlink i will tell you how to insert hyperlinks in the class if time permits otherwise uh, i think many of you know how to insert hyperlinks in the slides itself or through internet we can in, we can embed a video also from youtube in the in this particular ppts and with the advent of new technologies like ai we can do wonders with ppt we, we can even design interactive dashboards also in the presentations as i told uh, it in the morning class so in this particular unit we are going to learn about so let me reduce the image size here i will keep it on the top so here let me again choose the laser pointer definition of e-commerce main components of e-commerce elements of e-commerce then e-commerce security e-commerce threats e-commerce security best practices introduction to digital payments components of digital payment and stakeholders modes of digital payments like banking cards or upi unified uh, unified payment interface e wallets unstructured supplementary services service data that is ussd we will call it as ussd so for form is unstructured supplementary service data aadhar enabled payments digital payments related to common frauds and preventive measures what are the rbi guidelines on the digital payments and consumer uh, i mean customer and con uh, consumer protection in authorized banking transactions relevant uh, provisions of payment settlement act 2007 okay so let me again quickly uh, go to go to the previous slide using the mouse now the last unit is fifth unit here uh, the the unit name is it is uh, so digital devices security tools and technology for cyber security so what are the digital device security tools are available and technologies for cyber security so there are like uh, endpoint device and mobile phone security then password policy security patch management data backup download and management of third party softwares device security policy cyber security best practices 
significance of host firewall and antivirus management of host firewalls and antivirus wi-fi security configuration of basic security policies and permissions right so with this the syllabus overview overview is completed and we will go back to the same slide using the mouser cursor pointer so up to this uh, about introduction introduction to the subject and syllabus overview we have seen in each unit what are the contents available now we will discuss about credits and marks of, of this subject so first we will discuss about credits theory is having three credits and practical is having one credit totally it's a four four credit including theory and practicals okay then next coming to the marks there are 60 marks in the end examinations conducted by university and there are around 40 internal marks i mean including practicals 25 for theory only 15 internal marks by the your college ushodaya degree college practical marks are 25 marks that also in uh, your faculty hand that is mine so totally 60 plus 40 100 marks paper right so now we will quickly jump into the first slide introduction to cyber security so defining cyberspace so how we can define a cyberspace cyberspace is a digital realm a realm in the sense a field or domain a field or domain of activity of interest actually english is a such a language that it has different meaning for the context of the sentences in this context it is a digital realm or a digital kingdom actually the realm is having synonyms like kingdom or a field or a domain of activity or interest okay so our interest is how the information where the information is occurring it's a virtual world created by internet it's a virtual world created by the inter interconnected computers interconnected computers and network networks encompassing various digital activities and interactions we know what are the digital activities and interactions we will do uh, for example if you want to transfer money to your friend you, you will use upi payments either phone pay or paytm or uh google pay etc etc right so that is also a digital activity or otherwise watching some gif files emojis while chatting uh, or uh, some of the uh, like interactions including uh, the voice calls voice messages and uh, even direct calling also that is also a digital interaction video call uh, for example so here are some key aspects of uh, uh, the cyberspace one is digital information this includes documents just now so I, I told documents images videos and other formats of uh, digital content that are stored transmitted and accessed through computer networks then uh, cyberspace i mean interconnected networks uh, in the cyberspace is made up of vast interconnected computers actually this how how this interconnected networks happens in the cyberspace i mean where comes this cyberspace into the picture is whenever there is vast uh, i mean vast network of interconnected computers 
so vast network of interconnected computers are servers are the routers that allow for communication and data exchange everybody knows what is a router right in in our house that wifi network uh, will be given to us with a router it includes two and two two antennas or three antennas today's uh, antennas are coming uh, into the routers with two three or four also sometimes correct if number of antennas are more then the network's coverage will be also more but two is more than enough for a house otherwise external people will also access our internet connection so there will be data misuse it could lead uh, actually the connection will be on our other card if some intruders attack or access our network then it will become a issue for us i mean it will become it will create a problems for us so and it is also suggested not to use public wifi networks at airports or at bus stands or at i mean very big bus stands like mgps they will provide free access to internet or in airports also they will provide free access but it is not suggestible to use such kind of unsecure networks even though they provide passwords it is a public uh, network so we should not depend upon such networks right so and coming to the servers everybody knows that server is a device through which internet is provided to the all computers which are connected to that particular server there will be a big uh, like for example if it if it if we take a geo or airtel as a as an example there will be an office where big towers and big servers are in, in, installed from that servers many number of connections will be given to the nearby shops or hotels etc etc so there they will use routers and access internet to communicate and perform data exchange what are what are the kind of data exchanges they can do they can transmit documents or images videos and other formats of digital content that are stored transmitted and accessed through the computers and networks so coming to the again same defining server space there are some virtual interactions people can interact with each other share information and engage in various activities within the cyber space through online platforms like social media and other digital tools i will add the icons of social media so i will uh, then you can identify what are the different types of social media are available can you name a few of them if it is a live class i think uh, you can respond but it is a recording i am recording this in in youtube so you cannot answer to my uh, questions but you can feel free to put it in the comments as many number of social media networks that are available today you can put their names or if possible put symbols i think youtube comments will not allow to enter emojis or symbols unless and until we have uh, a membership from youtube okay and you already know that youtube is a free tool free software but these days they are also giving subscription plans to to see the videos ad free and global reach will be there cyber space is not only limited by a geographic boundaries right so from anywhere in the world cyber attacks can happen okay so actually there are two types of hacking ethical hacking and unethical hacking people are available in both categories 
ethical hackers will will do some best things unethical hackers as it only tells unethical means it is misuse of some of the data like recently we have seen indian aadhar cards are like famous personalities aadhar cards are being hacked by the various uh, uh, intruders or attackers it is not only limited to one particular ge geographic boundaries like especially in uh, for example bodan or nizamabad hyderabad telangana it is not only restricted to certain restricted uh, i mean only uh, certain boundaries or geographic boundaries it is available it it can be accessed anywhere in the world with an internet connection okay this internet connection is important here without internet connection those people cannot attack us and it is always suggestible for us to update the apps whenever there are updates available you need to update app or if you are not using any app for longer times it's better to uninstall that app it is as simple as that it's my sincere suggestion to all of you to uninstall the unnecessary apps that we are not using for longer time your mobile will show that there are this this number of apps are not used by you through some some periods like month ago or two months ago three months ago like that then coming to the next evolving landscape cyberspace is constantly evolving with new technologies and applications emerging regularly okay so this cyberspace is constantly evolving i mean it is constantly evolving with new technologies like we can see how the whatsapp evolved from its original version to the latest version it is giving hand to end encryption and seven days or one day disappearing messages are also available right so there are some advantages and disadvantages with the new technologies it is up to the user how he can access that and so many applications are also coming regularly so we will uh, move to the next slide so the key examples of cyberspace uh, is the internet and social media platforms this we will see in the next presentation and let us quickly go to the reference books what are the reference books we have to follow there are seven reference books he suggested the telangana university suggested for us seven reference books one is this uh, cyber crime impact in the new millennium by rc mishra it is author press edition 2010 it is available amazon but it is showing currently not available its cost around 340 something like that we don't know whether the this particular syllabus is there or not in this textbook i will download the pdf and i will share it to you as a link in this video whenever the download link is available with me right now the download link is not available with me i tried a lot last night but i i could i couldn't found any pdf versions of this particular textbook if possible i will purchase all these seven books i will copy the notes from that or can i will perform quick cam scan or i have a printer and scanner with me i will scan it and i will make it as a pdf and i will share it to you for as a reference original like a textbook for you then the second reference is cyber security understanding cyber crimes and computer forensics and legal perspectives by sumit bela puri if i pronounce i'm sorry for that this particular author sumit b and neena godbole from wiley india private limited first edition 2011 third reference is security in the digital age social media security threats and vulnerabilities by henry a oliver 
okay and this is uh, by create space independence publishing platforms pearson 13th november 2001 edition e commerce i mean electronic commerce or e commerce are both the same by elias m avad princeton hall of india phi private limited he didn't mention any edition here so we can purchase any on any one of the edition cyber loss intellectual property and e commerce security by kumar k it is by dominant publishers then network security bible by eric pole ronald roots james w conley second edition this is also from same wiley india private limited here it is then the seventh the last textbook is fundamentals of network security by uh, e mywald if i pronounce this author name also i am sorry for that because uh, we don't know exactly what is the pronunciation for that particular word and uh, earlier also i have committed a mistake in sumit bel puri we we indians don't know how to pronounce foreign authors names so if uh, a particular person from other countries watching this video kindly excuse me for the pronunciation and seventh textbook as i told it is fundamentals of network security by e mywald mcgrahill again edition is not mentioned here okay and this is the last slide so subscribe to my channel don't forget to subscribe to my channel share this video to as many as you can for whom this subject is there this subject is available even in btech also so just scan me or use use the url which is given here to subscribe to my channel or scan it scan this qr code okay and uh, thank you for today's session